This is a Young Farmers Podcast. I'm Lindsay Lusher Shoot. It's Thanksgiving week, and we're just returning from our leadership convergence in Washington, D.C., where we trained over 100 farmers on campaigns, organizing, and leadership. It was also an emotional week for me, as it will be my last convergence as the executive director of the National Young Farmers Coalition. I'm stepping down sometime next year to work with members of the coalition on a new agricultural cooperative, Farm Generations. More on that soon. It was an awesome week. We had farmers from across the nation. Hi, I'm Rosie Fitz. Rebecca Perrin. My name is Will O'Meara. Lilia Mullins. I farm in Washington, Connecticut. Middle Georgia. Um, I come from Eugene, Oregon. Southeastern Pennsylvania. Just outside of Boulder, Colorado. I work on Rag and Frost Farm. On the Good Farm. I raise a variety of livestock. I'm here at Convergence 2018 because I am fighting for a better future for farmers. They come together from so many different places, all to fight for a bright and just future for agriculture. Everybody's really excited to be here. It's exciting. It's just cool to be at the Capitol. There's so much history here. and I was a little nervous last night. It's really exciting. I've never been political before. I am here to talk to members of the Congress. Both our meetings so far have gone really well. I had two meetings, one with each of my senators. Some work gets done here sometimes. Hopefully now is that time. These perspectives, these voices from so many places are what makes our coalition strong. This Thanksgiving, we are grateful for these young leaders. We are thankful for our farmers and we are thankful for the harvest that they brought to our farmers markets, CSAs, restaurants and grocery stores week after week this year. I know that many of the farmers in our coalition had a rough season, our farm included. This experience makes our harvest seem all the more precious, all the more sacred. A fruit grower friend of mine calls each season, every fruit, a gift. Sometimes it is a bad season that helps us know the value of what we're able to bring to our community's table. Prayer isn't for everyone, but it is a practice of my family. As you prepare to enjoy your Thanksgiving meal, please join us in giving thanks for the many hands that help bring it forth. Whoever did the cooking in your household, your farmers, and a precious earth that provided the soil, sun, and water for its growth. We wish you and your family a warm Thanksgiving.